Hey, Katie. Hey, Sarah. It's great to meet up with you here on Mozart Snapshots. Thanks. It's great to see you, as always. So, what are we talking about today? Today we're talking about beer because we are going to visit the Stiegel Keller, which is the largest private brewery in Austria. I heard about Stiegel and that even Mozart enjoyed their beer, right? He did. Mozart loved all kinds of beer, but he was a particular fan of Stiegel. And his sister even mentioned it in her diary in 1780 when she commented that the three of them were going to go to the Stiegelbräu to play bowling and have some beer. So, what kind of beer did he like best? He liked a dark aromatic beer like a Dunkelmerzen. And you also mentioned playing bowling. Did they also play other games? They did. One of the games that they liked to play was called a Bolzelschießen, which was actually an air gun contest in which you had to hit at discs that were about this big. How often did they meet them? Well, they actually met every Sunday because Leopold had a regular shooting group of about 12 to 14 people, men and women, and uh, they would meet every Sunday at 3. So was it a popular game then? It was a very popular game, kind of like tennis and golf nowadays. And what about playing cards? Well, card games was actually one of Mozart's favorite things because he was an ace at 17 different card games. But unfortunately, Archbishop Colorado uh, decided that he was going to ban all card games before 4 o'clock on Sundays. And so, of course, they had to think of something else to do. And so they decided to start up on Bozelschießen. But why did he ban them? Yeah, who knows? Uh, Colorado was just a very strict uh, ruler and he just banned all kinds of simple pleasures and nobody really knew why. Well, in any case, I imagine that Mozart probably had a lot of fun with Belsenschies. He definitely did because he was a very good marksman. But um, these meetings actually had a dual purpose and that was more for networking because uh, Leopold used these opportunities to hear the latest gossip and to, you know, p find new opportunities for concerts for Wolfgang. Leopold certainly did everything he could for Mozart's career. And I can just imagine that Mozart and his sister and his father sitting in that beer garden drinking a cool Märzen beer. Yeah, I mean, they would have had a great time. And in those days, they would have been sitting in the beer garden in the Gaststättengasse, uh, which unfortunately was only there until 1909. But the current one was built in 1820 and it has been there ever since. And I have to say that the view of Salzburg's old town is really beautiful. It is. And actually right over here is the Salzburger Dome that we visited a few episodes ago. And can you tell me a little bit about the history of Stiegel in general? Yeah, the brewery was founded in 1492, the year that Columbus sailed the ocean blue. And it quickly became one of the most popular breweries in Austria. And the name Stiegel actually comes from the German word Stiege, which is a staircase. And this is because next to the original brewery was a little staircase, and so therefore Stiegel. That's interesting as well. Would you mind to drink a cold Stiegel beer with me in this I wonderful would love to. garden? <laughs> yeah. It's such a perfect hot day for beer, so let's go on in. That's right. <laughs> Prost. Prost. It's really good. It is. So, bis zum nächsten Mal. Bis zum nächsten Mal.